Hey everybody. Hope you're doing well out there. Um, I wanted to give a little bit of advice to young drummers out there. Um, people interested in taking drum lessons. Um, YouTube and social media has become something that is uh, making it very complicated to find the right teacher who's good for you and who's not good for you. And although um, there are many styles and many avenues to take, um, there's one thing that I think should dictate to all of those pursuits and it is it's a very simple thing um, giving credit to the information that is being delivered to you I have seen I want to say hundreds that would be an exaggeration I don't purge the internet I don't I don't go through the internet like that but I do check out drum videos often I'm a drummer I'm a teacher and I see what's going on and I have seen countless times from what looks to be right out of college what looks to be before college what looks to be professional serious players explaining things explaining techniques explaining ways of doing fills and patterns and um, whether it's foot technique or hand technique or phrasing techniques or uh, rebound techniques or grip techniques or sound techniques or ensemble techniques and I've noticed it, it kind of occurred to me something that I see a lot going on that I never do in my lessons and that the teachers bless them that I had never did that with me Whenever they told me something, they always gave credit to where the information came from. It was a kind of proof of the legitimacy of the lesson. And at the same time, excuse me, at the same time, it was history and it was respect for the craft. So then, if you're trying to find the right teacher for you, or if you're watching somebody online tell you how to do something, pay very close attention to what they're saying. Because 99% of the time, what they're saying did not come from their own research. 99% of the time, it's credited to somebody else, whether it's Mr. Moeller, Joe Morello, Chapin, all the method books. So if you're finding, if you're, if you're listening to a video and somebody's explaining how to do something and they don't tell you where they got it from a little light bulb should go off and you should say hmm what is this really all about then in my lessons 
I always give credit. I always tell where everything that I say comes from. And, rightfully so, if I have yet to find anybody else saying what I'm saying, if it's something that I've developed, I say humbly, this happens to be something that I've worked out, worked on, studied for years, and I'm passing it on to you in hopes that it benefits you. But most of the time, it's not my revelations, my stuff, most of the time, I'm only transmitting what all of the greats transmitted to me. So again, if you're listening to a video of whoever, forget the name, and you and as they're talking to you, they never mention where they got that from. You should be very suspicious of what their intentions are. So in other words, get a teacher who respects the craft and explains to you every step of the way where this method came from. If not, they are essentially stealing those methods from the entire drumming community, pretending that they are something that they're not. And you can see this on, from, like I said, college kids to even amazing amazingly great drummers out there and it is dumbfounding to see amazingly great drummers out there not giving credit to where they got their material from so again if you're taking lessons from somebody and they never tell you where they got their information from go find somebody else their intentions are not in the right place. And incidentally, you're not learning any of the history of the craft, of the art, of drumming with those lessons. Best to you. Ciao.